Why are Freemasons like bananas? Because they're yellow and hang around in bunches. Freemasons have got to be the thickest people on this earth. Did you know that they actually swear an oath against their own families? Yes, you heard me correctly. Male Freemasons and female Freemasons. Yes, there are female Freemasons. Check for yourselves on the internet. They swear an oath to Lucifer. And that oath, within that oath, what they do is they promise and swear um, to put the brotherhood of Lucifer, of Satan, the devil, above and beyond their own families. Effectively, what they're doing is divorcing themselves from their wives and their husbands. They put to non-effect their marriage vows. So, they've gone to a church uh, and they've sworn an oath, allegedly before God, and then they break it by making an oath against their wives and against their husbands and against their children and against their mum and against their dad and against their brothers and against their sisters and against their friends that is what a Freemason is if you have a friend who is a Freemason that's not your friend if you are married to a Freemason guess what You've been divorced and you don't even know it. And if they were a Freemason when you married them, well, your marriage vows didn't mean a thing anyway. So you can guarantee this. If those vows mean nothing, that means that you cannot trust them. That means that they will commit adultery against you, they already have, and against God by swearing an allegiance to Lucifer. And they will also commit sexual adultery against you because they cannot possibly be trusted. They have sworn an allegiance to the father of lies. And yet they sit there in suits and shirts and ties. And they speak to you so sweetly and so charmingly. And they hate you. And they've sworn an allegiance of hatred against you, your family. If you're married to a Freemason... Well, who am I to tell you what to do? If you want to be with someone who has now married themselves to the devil and has made of non-effect uh, your marriage vows and, and, and also made a vow against your children and against their own family, your family, the whole thing, well, that's your business. Enjoy. The trouble is that the Lord has said that he will punish up to three generations of the children of the wicked. So is that what you want for your children? To be punished for three generations because your husband or your wife have whored themselves, prostituted themselves and given over their bodies, their minds, their hearts to Lucifer, to the enemy of mankind whom the Bible tells us only comes to kill, steal, and destroy. There you go. And then they'll tell you, oh baby, I love you. Well, if you pay a prostitute, she'll tell you that she loves you as well. And then when the next punter comes, they'll tell them that they love them too. A Freemason is a prostitute, male or female. They are a whore. They may as well be standing on a corner with fishnet stockings swinging their handbag. All they do is tout for business to fill their pockets with money, shaking hands and coming to agreements and running all of the businesses in every country in the world. If you knew what to look for in the businesses in the country where you live, you would see that all of the businesses are run by Freemasons. However, just to show you how stupid Freemasons are, they don't all realise that they are in allegiance with people who are only half human, half angel and half human being. They don't even know it. Some of them do, but not many of them. Freemasons are told that they're clever and they're so stupid 
that they believe it. If you've joined the Freemasons, you can listen to me right now, or you can just block your ears. It's up to you. If you have done such a stupid thing in order to gain favours and money in the short term that is called the human lifespan, you are going to have all of eternity to regret it. That's all of eternity. They tell you there is no God, yet they tell you that there is a Lucifer. Do you have a brain? Work it out for yourself. If there is a Lucifer, then there is a God, and they are enemies. Hello? Is anyone at home? Work it out for yourselves. And if you're married to a Freemason, well, what I would do, if I found out that I was married to a Freemason, I'd leave. I'd run. Why? Because I love Jesus Christ, and I will have no part of any such people who have prostituted themselves to Satan and to the great whore of Babylon. That is what you're doing and you know it full well. And the signs and symbols that you use to communicate with one another are no longer a secret. Many people know what they are and they're spreading it all over the internet. Very soon you're all going to be exposed. Those of you who have a brain and are not yellow and hang around like bunches of bananas, change your ways while you still can. Because do you know what? On the highway to hell, you might be enjoying driving your BMW, but when you get to the gates, you've got to leave it and the keys behind, and your fancy house, and all of your money. Well, actually, your money you're going to take with you, because the Bible says that the wages that you have stolen shall eat your flesh like fire in hell. So how big is your pile of money, which you've got? through funny handshakes and doing favours and robbing other people and pretending to be righteous, you hypocrites. How big is your pile of money? However big it is, remember this. You're going to take it with you to hell. You're going to be sitting on it. It's going to be burning forever and eating your flesh like fire. Is it worth it? I'd rather have no money than have that. Thank you very much. You can keep it. You can keep all of your money. Like Jesus Christ said when he held up the coin. He said, give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God what is God's. Well, if you've chosen the money, remember what the scripture says. It will eat your flesh like fire in hell. Wake up. There's a few of you that might have a chance of repentance even though you've sworn allegiance to the devil. All you have to do is renounce it and leave behind these people and forget about the riches that you're being given now for lying and getting other people into poverty and death because of your greed. Is it worth it? You're going to find out that it isn't. And as with most cowards, on their deathbed, they decide to repent and call a priest in and say, Father, bless me. Well, let me tell you something now. There isn't a priest on this earth that could possibly cleanse you of your sins. Only Jesus Christ can do that. And in order for him to do that, you have to turn to him. Put yourself on your knees. Open your heart to him. And apologize for what you have done. And repent from what you have done. And turn away from the so-called brotherhood of Satan. And join the brotherhood of God. You were made in his image. How dare you abuse your own father who sent his only son Jesus Christ to die for you. How dare you join, join hands with the Nephilim, with Satan, against the rest of humanity and your own husbands and wives and children. Sit and realise what scum you've become. Repent now because the end's nearly here. And if you've got any kind of position, so-called position, in Freemasonry, you'll know that what I'm telling you is true. The end is on our doorstep. Well, you make up your own minds. Until then, I'll just think of you how I normally think of you. Yellow and hanging around in bunches like bananas.